so welcome back everybody so we are just we're going to try today and make this kind of animation we are just going to have stuff like this like you can just move to the right move to the right just by clicking right so it's an interesting way to make your carousels and that is what we're going to be treating right now so you can also see that this button has a hover state and this um, text to here has a hover state the same thing with this and the same thing with this right so we're going to learn how to do all of that all in figma so welcome back guys so uh, this will be a free file so i'm going to give you guys the free file so you can walk along so just take the link and the description in the, below of the video so you can get your your file and you know walk along with so i'm going to start from this simple text right you can see that from the animation right we have um a text here at the left hand side and so how to make text that moves just exactly as as it moves right so that is it that's what we're going to be creating today i'm going to do our own in a very unique way so you have your text you have this you have and you have like the you have like the capital and then you have you know the country and then you have a text uh, that con that has information about that particular country so what you want to do is to use your auto layout yes so you use auto layout so especially for information like this you want to make sure that it's in order so what i would suggest that you do or what we're going to do right now is that we're going to on your keyboard you hold shift a so when you hold shift a you can see all this information is aligned properly so you also look at this right hand side where you can see various ways to align your text so the, the way the auto layout alignment works it does it in relation to the other text so you can see that they are like on the same page right now so i'm giving that we can give them a gap of 10 so this is this acts as your gap this acts as your horizontal padding this acts as your vertical padding so this is the information so you can also see that from this information that this was a text explore is a text right so what we want to do is to um to a, that is a text right to a button so you want to make sure that it's a button so what i'm going to do now that i'm going to click this text shift a again so if i click shift a you can see that the frame has expanded to contain more space as if it says it contains more space so i'll go to my right hand panel and i see it is 10 10 so i can just still increase this value right i can make this 20 the horizontal part in 20 and i can make the above part in 20 also but i would just like to keep it at 20 horizontal padding and then then vertical padding for the for the button so another thing i'm going to do is to add a few so once i add a few i'm just going to change the color so that the color matches with ex you know flows with the background of the animation so what, what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to add round corners adding a corner of 15 you know corner radius i think 15 is too much we can just make it 10 right then so we add 10 and then we have so you can see so i'm going to double click on this frame 37 convert name it button right so once i name it button i can now you can see we have three you know we, can, we have like this information here cannot like this so next thing we're going to do is to click this click this and then click this information make sure that you're clicking on the frame you click this and then also click on this um this um, name here so once you click that you press shift a on your pc and then you've been able to convert this particular information right you're able to convert this particular information to an auto layout so once you convert it to an auto layout or you, you convert, convert it to an auto layout you can see it's going to be activated you duplicate once you duplicate it you just zoom in and then when you zoom in when you zoom in again you duplicate it to the right so once you duplicate it to the right you have um usually when you do when you deal with like hover states or button hover states or button can often be like an inverse of the color like the color red will come out it would be the color of the text in this case and why the white will be the color of the frame in this case so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to click this text all right or if you don't want to click they just click from the button go to your selection colors right make this red a whitish color or whatever color you want to make it and then make this one a reddish color right or you just use your color picker and then pick this color here 
to make sure that you're accurate so you can see that we have a very nice i'm going to switch the prototype this and i have a nice color variation all i need to do is to click this and then connect this to this so instead of on click i need to use y hovering so that y hovering is going to change to this other state so what i'm going to do is go back here go back to this information here and just to make sure that you guys can see that we are right or to verify if you're actually right we go to we click this presentation and a small button comes up you can see it, the it, the state changes so the next thing we want to do now is we want to be able to convert this to a component set so all you need to do in order to convert this to a component set you you click everything and once you you know you click everything once you click create component and you'll be able to have this information displayed like this once you have the information that you need now all you need to do is to use this information that you have so in my case what i i did in my own design that i pushed the it's in ops so in order to get that part, piece of information the components we just created you go to this um, comp, um resources tab once you click this resources button, you'll be able to see your, your local component and to show as the name you saved it as button. So you just drag your component to this and then you have your component. You can see that your component is different from this. This is blue and then components show as purple. So I'll delete my frame. So with that information, right, we can duplicate as many times as possible. Right, and then we change this information because in the in the in this one we had several countries like New Delhi, um, Hong Kong, China, and so on. So what I'm going to do is to change this to Hong Kong, China. You have the we have Hawaii, we have um we have Hawaii, we have Nigeria, we have India, and we have South Africa. So that's what you want to do. We have made Nigeria, we need to make we need to make Hawaii. So once you're done with that information, all you have to do now, you're done with your information. You can see how beautiful it looks. After I've clicked all the frames, the next thing I want to do now, I'm going to right click. Once you right click, you see frame selection. So you click frame selection. So what frame selection does is that it puts all your designs into frames, right? So with this frame selection, we to also make sure that you have a consistent spacing in with all of them. You just go to your right hand side under design. You see this, then you see distribute vertical spacing or distribute horizontal spacing. So horizontal spacing is what you're going to use. You can see if I if I increase the horizontal spacing, increase for all of them, increase significantly. So you can see that from this our design, the first one is going to be Cape Town. So what you need to do is that you go in your in your design. You can see I'm clicking keep down so you can see that information so I can just move right so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to undo and then make sure that keep down is the first information that displays not for me to do that since I started from this side what I need to do is that I can increase the spacing right so that 
doesn't enter into any other one and then i just click the hawaii and then move it yeah and then see how you keep down come here the same thing you do for lagos nigeria you keep it here you also carry you move your hong kong um you know move it because it's in front of new delhi so once you've done that you can <clears throat> you reduce your your spacing in between all of them and once you do that you remove your auto layout because the way figma works is that you cannot really animate with an auto layout like especially if you're moving a design like that so once i'm doing once i'm done doing that i have my my frame so what i need to do now is to click the is to is to use the clip content so that clip content is now going to clip clip all my content so all i need to do now once i've used clip content right what, what all i need to do now is to click this content and then move it inside within the frame so once i move it so once i move this particular content within the frame you can see that is how we are able to animate this particular content so with that we have that done so welcome back guys we're going to continue from where we stop and we're going to be able to create how to create these pictures so that they are able to scale in and have our states so one of the first things we are going to do with now is to add a text to this information by using remember my font is space go text so light so i'm going to just click over so i'm going to click the names of the countries so i'll just hold caps lock and just click so i'll give it a 32 i'll give it a 32 font size and then a font weight of bold so once i have that font size and font weight i can also go ahead with using the uh, adding an image to it so i'll just click the the few button so i'll just come here click the few button open it and then make sure that i have i can choose the image right so what, the image i'm going to choose now is south africa the image called south africa so the next thing you're going to do so if you're trying to do this kind of animation i would suggest that you just i suggest that you're you're able to bring out this information in um, like download the information and then use it to do what you need to do so i'll just have it show like this kind of part and then i'll increase the exposure and increase the exposure and then just try and, and fit it in so i'm going to do this for this for all of the text so you can fast forward through this same process So we're done with that information. So the next one we're going to try and do now is to create a hover state for this for this picture. So all we need to do is to hold out and then drag it, then copy it, and then duplicate this information. Hold out again, drag it again to the right, and then all you need to do now is to scale this information. And when I mean scale, all you need to do is increase the height. So you increase the height. Once you increase the height to about 450 with the height to about 450 and then you increase the width to about 300 is fine so you put make sure you position the text once again in the middle and then you bring out this information into in in this place so the next thing you're going to do now is to look at this information we say we information is embrace the paradise on earth and invitation to experience the unparalleled beauty so all you just need to do is to come into this place and just make sure that you have your own text so you just need to have a text here just write a text on top of it embrace right make sure that your caps lock is off 
Embrace, just make sure I'm on the information. Embrace paradise on earth. Make sure that you center align the information. Embrace paradise. Earth. On earth, make sure that the information is white and then you talk a little more about the, info, the information that you're writing about. Use a 15 font size. So I'm just going to start typing information. Um, this country has a sh shocking. I'm going to decrease the exposure. So remember last time we we're increasing the exposure. So I'm just going to decrease the exposure. Once I decrease the exposure, the text becomes, and then the same thing I'm, is what I'm going to do for the text here. I'm also going to decrease the exposure significantly. Do the same thing for Embrace Paradise on Earth. So with that information, you're able to get a, a much dimmer Component. So what you are going to do now is that you are going to go to prototype, right? You remember that this is on click, so you prototype this to show on click. It's going to smart animate with this information into this. So while this one now is going to be a hover. So in order to make this, in order to make this a perfect hover state, that you have this kind of information, you need to be able to put this information below. So what I would suggest that you do is that you carry this information. Um, can hold shift a right you, you use alt drag the information here right and once you drag the information here all you need to do is to take this information below use your arrow key and then take it below so once you've taken that information below you have yourself a very good component set so if i just expand this information just preview this and i click this you get and i just hover about it so like with this information we are done with this so the next thing you want to do right now is that next thing you want to do is be able to click this whole select all this information go up here to your top bar and create and click create component set so with create component set you have this information here so the next thing you're going to try and do is that you're going to by make sure you're on the design profile you bring your your picture here right you bring your picture here and then you just do the same thing So you feel it should be so you copy this information from the above um, text here from this above um, components we've made put the information here right make sure you have this information and then do the same thing make sure that you copy the information here so that the animation into this particular into the right hand side here can be very smooth so i'm just going to bring this down with my arrow key, just hold down, just bring it down. You can see the information below. So that once we prototype this, the information actually does what it actually scales up, just like this one does. So it's because the the closing animation has this text, not disappear, but go below. We can speed up. We can you know fast forward this process as I do this myself.
So what you need to do now is to have you have to go personal personally and save this in a different format. So what I recommend that you do that you go here and then you click add new. So you add new. They are going to make this SA SA click and then you make this you make this add new add new again. So you're going to make this SA over. So you do the same thing for this. You're just going to make this um, um rename instead of default. You're just going to rename this to SA so instead of click or hover or, or you just make it to SA. Just an abbreviation. Do the same thing for Hawaii. Welcome back guys. We are just going to we're just going to be able to create this information in the way that we can use it for for the final stage of animation. So you've saved all these things as prototypes. All you need to do is to go to your prototype bar and then your resources tab here and then you just click the information. As you click it, it just becomes to so do the same thing for your Hawaii. So you remember that South Africa is first, followed by followed by Hawaii. So you just put that information properly so that you don't have a, an issue later. Hawaii. What's next after Hawaii? And then once we are done, we just make sure that we tidy this up. Right, we tidy this up and then we we put them properly. If your own has errors, what you you then need to do is that once you you your own has errors, right? You just need to go and then use the process of of saving this information. So you're just going to save the information like we did earlier. Come back here, and once you come back here, you're going to have different states. So from SA, you set it to SA hover. Not hover, sorry. You make sure you set it on SA click because on click is where the thing just expands. So you you now select all this information because we are trying to create something like this. So you, you select all these ones and make sure that you have an equal distance between all of them, right? So that you don't have any issues. So you have this. And then once you're done, you, you selected this, this information, right click and then put it in a frame. So once you've put this information in a frame, so once I've clicked this information, all I need to do is to duplicate it again. Once I duplicate this information, all I need to do is to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? I will now move it to the left. Move it to the left. Once you do that, change this, change the property of this from HW to HW click. And then click all this uh, information, click all the things in the frame, balance them properly. And once you do that in your country, just make sure that everything is balanced properly. So once you're done with that, just fast, you can, we're going to fast forward this process, duplicate it, do the same thing for the rest.
So once you're done with that, you know that you've concluded that information. All you need to do is to keep uh, carry your information here, then right click this whole selection. So you click all the information, you right click, and then you, you, you don't right click, you make sure that you just create a component set. So you must create a component set with this information. So once you're done with that, remember that we've had, we made our frame already and we've kept it here. So if you, you can unveil this frame, instead of confusing yourself, you can remove this one. And then we have this information, right? We have this information. Immediately are done creating the header. So once you're done with this, make sure that you enclose it to fit only one, right? You fit only one and then you have this information, name it, um, name, or you name it to country names. So you name it, you change the name to country names, and then you can choose, you can choose to have an, um, have to put the information here. So you put the information in your video. So once you do that, once you put the information in your video, you keep that information there. All you need to do now is to bring bring in now the corresponding remember we just made this all you need to do now is to bring in the corresponding value here so i'm just going to bring in the component one so once i bring in this component i'll just keep it beside it just beside just like we've we has i make sure that in your cape t add a add a layer grid of five of let's click this just a count of five and make sure that everything is balanced properly including your picture set so on the and the count of five also look at take a look at the grids that we've added a stretch 20 goes at 20 so you can use this grid system as a system of measurement for your content so the next thing i'm now going to do right is to make sure that i position this thing a bit in the middle of this of this information here right i don't want the information to to be too to be away from the content so i'm just going to do the same thing on this one so you can fast forward this or you can just watch this through so we'll do the same information here country sa we're going to change this to because we are in hawaii now right we're going to this country hw and then once we do that we make sure that these are content too we are going to move the content within so you are going to make sure that you're clicking on all your content right remember that we've had this content right so you just you, you just move it to the left and then replace it much better content like the content that fits exactly with your country content that fits exactly with your country and then you do the same thing with these two So one of the final things that we're going to be adding to this is that we're going to then add a new prototype, right? So we're going to prototype this. So before we prototype this, we want to make sure that we add our final, our final button, right? Because if you click this, you should have a button to go back instead of just, you know, being stuck here. So we're going to create this final button in just a second. So to create a button, all you need to do is to go up, um, click, all you need to do is to click your shape to open your ellipse drag your ellipse out make sure that it is not that big so once you drag your ellipse out you have click your pen to click this point click another point once you click these two points you click done so once you click done you go to make sure that you're on design you click arrow here and then you increase it to three pixels so once you increase it to three pixels you know that you're done with making that particular ellipse so once you're done with this all you need to do once you're done with this you can choose you know to just stop here and then put this information uh, you can use this information to create a component and then use this information in all make sure that you're not putting it at the first one because you don't need to go back you do not need to go back to so make sure that you are keeping this on the second information 
yes make sure you're keeping this on second information let's make sure that we are doing the right thing so you you can in decrease the opacity of this to 80 percent 80 percent it doesn't need to be too bright or if you want to go as high as 70 right or 60 seems even great 60 seems okay so you can have it at 60 just have it as an invisible button there so you just do the same thing here okay so the next stage now is to be able to prototype this so just click this so you just click this um image and prototype it to this point and also because we need to be able to go back to this point so you click this information here you do the same thing make sure that you're setting it to an ease out of 300 on both sides so you click this to this this information here make sure that you're setting it to an ease out of 300 so with this we've concluded the full animation of how to build this form of animation so make sure that you like you subscribe and you stay tuned for more because that's what we are going to be covering in this video thank you